Alright guys, we're uh, going back to playing Black Mesa. Uh, we're doing a double chapter episode today because the next two chapters are short. There's, of course, Water ha- er, no, hold on. Not Water Hazard, that's Half-Life 2, but there's Apprehension and there's Residue Processing. Apprehension is short, Residue Processing, it's not short, but because I really want to get through it as fast as I can, I always end up making residue processing shorts. So, yeah, let's go. Obviously, last episode I finished uh, on a rail, which was actually a lot funner than expected. Normally a rather difficult chapter. Don't don't be caught off guard by that screen cap. Obviously I'm a lot further than that. Um But yeah. So here we go. Back to the old Half Life Mesa Black something. Where am I? I can't see a thing without Matt Fulbright on. Especially in this chapter, like, the only way to beat this chapter, in my experience, is to just go blind through it all and hope you don't get caught by a barnacle tongue because, well, God knows if you'll be able to make a bunch of random shots at it and hit it. Alright, supply run. Done. I like that in Black Mesa there's no limit for a sprint. So. Set it to max speed for this part because y y it's... I don't know. Make it fast. I forgot how good this game was, by the way. Yep, they tried to set me off the rail. And that goal, they did fail. I died. No, no, no. Get off the ride. I want to get off Dr. Breen's wild ride. And quick save. And turn Fulbright off because you can kind of see it this part. I'm just going to escape through here. But yeah, you probably also will need Matt Fulbright just to see where you're going in this game. Hmm. 
guess those goons forgot about me. Good. So this is like that section in Half-Life 2 Water Hazard where you have to use boys to um, get the barrel up. Or to get the bridge up. Oh my god. Ah! Stop it. Oh my fucking god. Source engine swimming is not my friend. So it seems I have another barrel. All right. And that's it. I got it up. Now we can consider or ah! Ooh, come. Zombie Marines are really cool in this game. I really like that they added those. And HEV suit yeah, energy. Very good. Or health. But yeah, you'll notice that I can't see a thing. And then, boom, I can see a thing. Oh, fuck, I went the wrong way, didn't I? So you have to go this way. That was unexpected. I apologize. And then you have to swim down into this rabbit hole. Uh, swim for quite a while because eventually you'll come up to an area where you can surface for oxygen, like right here. You can open these vents. Not that you can actually crawl through them, but I like opening vents. You can go in here for no reason. And then you swim down here. Uh, swim down here. And you're through. And because of water pressure, that door literally cannot be opened. Do not... Click this valve. Click this one. It sprinkles the fire. That one creates fire. It's pretty genius, but very cruel, I must say. That was terrifying. Anyway. Great, I can't see anything. Now I can see something. There is an ichthyosaur down here. I don't know where he is, though. I think you can actually skip this part, by the way. Yep. Nope. Alright. So, normally you're supposed to go down there into that shark cage. But, you can also do this. 
wait for him to come over here, or take out any powerful weapon. Hey, bud. Over here. I hear him. There we go. I'm fine. So, yes, we do have to do this section. I thought we could skip it, but alas, this is Black Mesa, not normal Half-Life. I did. Okay, so we have to kill this guy. You can fire that crossbow underwater. I'm sure you'll find it. Oh, fuck you. That's a really cruel barnacle there. I really hate that they placed that. Here we go. Time to go fishing, bitches. Where is it? That scientist tricked me! Why and where? Well, I didn't get the crossbow because there was none. Look, maybe it fell to the bottom of the shark cage. Maybe that happened. There's always a chance. Or maybe that scientist was really just a lying sack of shit. Either way, the, gar the ichthyosaur died. So, actually, where is it? Because the crossbow is such a cool weapon, because you really just get to fuck around with it in apprehension. But no, seriously, what is this? Did I already have it in my inventory? Did... Did the Ichthysaur eat it? What? Why don't I have the crossbow? Never mind, I have it now, so that's all fine. Let's go to the next part. The soundtrack in this game is also amazing, especially in this level. Although it's kinda creepy. Cruel ass barnacle placement. And...
That was the G man up there. But yeah, this soundtrack is really good. Oh, it's on. Uh oh. Hi. See, he's not hostile. I'm gonna cheat. Open the door! Open the door! Alright. He opened the no door. This part, its geometry is the same as in normal Half-Life. There we go. We did it. Here we go.
What was that? There it is. I saw it. They're shooting. we go. Idiot. How about this? Okay, I don't know what you were trying to do get killed? Yeah, you were trying. Anyway, we're just going to take this elevator out of here. Anyway, just shoot them all. This is the part where the military captures you. Oh, fine. I'll just escape to this part. That soundtrack is really good. Apprehension's kind of a great chapter in this game. Anyway, we finished that chapter. It was really fucking annoying, too. But now we're all good. Crow! Half-Life 2 Crow! Alright, run. These things are... This trash compactor is about to start. And, no, before you ask, we do not have a C-3PO. Crawl over to this side. How did I not take fall damage? That was kind of a fall damage height. I don't know. Where's the crowbar? Eh, I don't know. Probably not a problem. Oh, we're allowed in here now. And we got the crowbar. 
Hooray. We lived. Wow, it looks beautiful outside. A lot nicer than my place in Chicago. <laughs> Welcome to a chapter that is not supposed to be short, but that I really like to speedrun. I wonder what uh, Matt Fulbright looks like outside. Well, uh, it really could be worse. I'll give you that. But yeah, the gloominess of the whole Black Mesa incident, it really looks beautiful out here. Yeah, this is a really great game. Oh, security guard. Don't worry. I'll save you. No! Well, he died. Okay, that's kind of good that it gives you a reason to go there. Dibs on the guy's pistol, bros. I also need ammo and health and supplies and that sort of thing, so... Oh, like this. Man, I remember when I first beat this chapter. It was like Easter of 2022. That was also when I got stuck on surface tension for a while. And might I say, surface tension in this game is great. Crowbar Collective really couldn't have done any better if they were trying to. And I mean that positively. I mean, like, you know... I don't mean that they're so bad at developing that, like, if they were trying to be good, they would fail. Which is kind of what I hate about that terminology, so yeah. Alright. Ah! The parkour is really difficult in this one. Oh, well, at least I don't need... Matt Fulbright, though, so that helps. How did I fail that jump? Alright. Quick save. Quick save. Quick save.
quick save. Boom. Freeman, just learn how to become colder. Don't burn in the fire. It's just a little bit of fire. It's not that bad. Huh. I so want to jump into there and scare the shit out of that bull squid and crowbar him to death. But I know that apparently that'll kill me. Liars. Have fun with death once in a while. Risk your life to have fun, people. Yeah. Chapter's kind of gross, though. So, go along here, find supplies, blah blah blah, yeah. Uh, go down there, and land in the water so that you don't take fall damage. Swim through all the toxic waste. Except be very careful. And then at least trap yourself without dying. Actually, go over to that ladder. Uh, climb it up. Run along past this point. Uh, d don't worry about that fire. It's nothing. Alright, and just in case you get felled back because of progress, open the doors. Never mind, I forgot. That's at a different point, but whatever. Go back down. Swim in the piece of shit water. I don't even know how Freeman did this part without, like, throwing up. Uh, what else do I do? Click on buttons that do nothing. Uh, swim around here. Don't go there. Swim underwater. Don't get burnt by the fire, even because Freeman apparently hasn't ever touched something hot in his life. Little pussy. Keep swimming. Yeah. You're doing great, soldier. Probably some supplies in here. Satchels, yes. Ah! Oh my god, that actually scared the shit out of me. This this is a horror game. So these are all emergency exits so that if somebody ends up getting stuck on a roller coaster like that. Headshots. Don't waste ammo, guys. Yeah. Shoot it in the tail a little bit. Or just shoot it, like, a lot, because apparently that didn't work. Disappointing, but what can you say?
Wait, what happened? Ah, oh, man, I wanted to crowbar that little bitch. Pick up that revolver, which I didn't even know was there. Pick up these satchels. Run from that goddamn squid. Like, right now. Alright, climb up here, because I forgot about that switch. Don't take fall damage. This is shut off. Keep crawling through the vents. Get over here. Turn that on. S quick save and then need to quick load a bunch of times. Oh my god. Hold on. I didn't have to quick save at all or quick load at all. Wow. I must say this chapter is a lot more epic than I remember. I remember it being one of the more boring chapters, but like, holy shit, this was really fucking fun. Like, I'm serious about that. There's no way to do that without taking damage, I assume. And if there is, I haven't heard of it yet. Yo! I'm a lot better at Black Mesa than I remember myself being. Careful. No, that's progress. We gotta slow down. I didn't expect to do that flawlessly, but I did it. Residue processing has never been that short of a level. Like... Wow. It's also never even been that fun. I really enjoyed that. Let's just kill these hound dies.
All God. All God. And here's a safe place to stop. That was really, 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 really fun. Thank you, guys.